Welcome. On this video we are going to be backing up all of our Windows drivers from the system without the use of any additional software or third party tools. We are going to use one line of command or one line of code rather from the command prompt or from Windows PowerShell. Let's see how this is done. Computrain. Now, as always with these things, we do appreciate your time, so we'll do this as quickly as possible. Now, we're going to go into the C drive of the system, and I've created a folder in here. I've called it Drivers Backup. We'll see it listed there. The first thing you have to do is take a note of the location of the folder that you create. We need to have a note of that. So, in this case, I'll take Properties, and we can see here, uh, straightforward enough, I've put this straight onto my C drive of the computer. You can put this straight to an external drive or anybody else um, and the path will be C colon backslash drivers backup underscore backup anyway that's the path of the file so we need to know that before we proceed let's go into so in the moment there's nothing in that folder at the moment um, we're going to launch Windows PowerShell or command prompt right click on your start menu Windows PowerShell admin on your system, it might say command prompt. It doesn't matter which of the two that you use. Okay, we have the command prompt open and we are going to copy in a line of code. This code you can copy straight from the description below. It's a line of code using DISM, which is Deployment Image Service and Management Tool. It's a, it's a, a tool that we regularly use in the workshop for repairs and repairing image files and Windows system files. In this case, the, the line we're going to use is to export the drivers. What we're going to do here is export and back up all of the drivers on our system. The reason for doing so is listed and featured in the full article in the connection to this video, which is in the description below. Okay, so DISM online, I mean act now on this system, the command being to export driver, uh, then the destination colon, then we type in the path of where you're saving to. On the keyboard, we hit enter and the command will run and execute. Now it might hang up. When you get about halfway through this, uh, it might pause and hang on one or two of these drivers. Don't worry too much, just let it run. It might take a few seconds, it might take a minute to run. On this system, we've got a clean system here, it's now backed up all of the drivers that I currently have installed. So if we go now into C drive um, and drivers backup, inside here now are all the drivers, including graphics drivers, sound card drivers, we've got... Uh, uh, there's the, the, the sound card we're using on this system, is uh, the Julia sound card. Um, we have all sorts of drivers installed here, and we can put these safely onto a USB stick or store them safely, and there are various reasons for doing this. It will even back up your printer drivers as well, which, of course, if you're going to be formatting the computer, this could save you some time on the other side when you come back round from the format. Um, and, of course, uh, there's all sorts of reasons for backing up your drivers. Perhaps Windows Updates and Windows 10 keeps installing generic drivers for perhaps legacy components or something like that, and you're continually uh, hitting problems. Back up your drivers nice and easy and it's nice and quick as well without using any software uh, hopefully this video has been of help if it has hit the wee thumbs up thing down the bottom always a massive thanks for watching bye for now Computroon on Facebook and online at www.computroon.co.uk